Hey everybody, thanks for coming to Dance With Me. I'm Laura and today we're gonna work on six count variations. Note, it's helpful if you're pretty solid in that basic six count footwork. The original idea for this class came from Marcus and Trent, two super talented hand dancers. Check them out when you get the chance. They're amazing. Unfortunately, there's very limited vintage footage of social dancing, and therefore very limited vintage footage of variations done while social dancing. Not that vintage footage is the only thing the Lindy Hop is. It's a different dance than what it was. I love what it was. I love what it is, and it's much larger than what I know it to be. However, there is social dancing in a clip from Mira Den's The Spirit Moves Part Two, the Savoy Ballroom of Harlem, 1950s. The Savoy Ballroom was closed in 1958, so this footage barely made it. In this clip, you'll see a lot Lot of solo dancing, but it's not solo dancing the way it's frequently done in a competition. It's solo dancing with a partner and they go in and out of physical connection. Now, I don't necessarily want this to be my whole dance. I love connected partner dancing. However, I love the emphasis on continuing to dance, whether you're touching your partner or not, whether you're doing a move or not, no matter what happens, everyone is dancing. In this video, we're gonna use this clip as inspiration. We're gonna work on jamming the six count footwork in open position with our partner. There are so many ways of doing this, but we'll start by replacing the triple step and keeping the rock step consistent. I'll be doing the leader's footwork and my good friend Nicole will be doing the follower's footwork. But first, Patreon, thank you people of Patreon for helping to make this video free for everyone in the world, including people like you. It's a voluntary subscription and if you would like to help them out, the link is in the description. Follow along with us as we run through some random variations.
can see, not only do we have too much fun, but you can make this as easy or as difficult as you want it to be. If you're looking for a platform to build ideas, start with a simple rhythm. We start with the basic. Add that simple rhythm. Maybe change the direction of it. Maybe repeat it on one side. Now change the direction of that repetition. Maybe speed it up. Maybe pause. Also, don't underestimate the power of doing nothing. Aw, it's a Christmas tree for them. If you want a breakdown of those ideas, I have them repeated with counts, both the leader footwork and the follower footwork, and my Patreon. The bad news is that you'll probably have to do a lot of dancing before you get comfortable playing around with that basic rhythm. The good news is that dancing is fun. Speaking of playtime, these are variations, so they're unled and frequently unplanned. Now, Nicole and I are just gonna have some fun. We will not do the same thing at the same time. You will probably not be able to follow along with us unless you have a shockingly good reaction time, in which case, dang, good job. We're setting an example of ways that you can play. Rather than following along, this is your time to play. The only rule, and this is an arbitrary one, is that we rock step when it's time to rock step. This tests that you can hold the duration of the six count in your body, even while straying from it in your footwork. I have found that it's helpful to say rock step out loud when it's rock step time. Good luck, here we go. but that was never the goal. Now let's take that same idea, but we're gonna sub out the rock step instead. Again, it will be madness, it will be playtime. Here we go.
this is a YouTube video, so you can play it as many times as you want. You can use the settings gear at the bottom right hand corner of this video to select a slower playback speed, and you can steal any of these variations, but I want you to know that I don't care about any of these variations. It's the idea behind them, playing with rhythm in the framework of a basic structure. That's the idea I care about right now. Now we're gonna put it in a partnership. We're going to do some basic six count moves and then stop in open position periodically to enjoy this rhythmic moment together. Again, we're setting an example. Don't follow along. This is your time to play. As a bonus, if you need a brain break from vocabulary recall, or if it's a fast song and you or your follow is tired, this is your moment. Get into open position, jam out on some rhythm, and have some fun. Speaking of fun, I hope you had fun and learned a lot. If you did, click like and subscribe and comment and do all the YouTube algorithm stuff. If you like the music, it's the Brooks Primo Orchestra, and you can buy it at a link in the description. And half the money that I get from this YouTube channel goes towards organizations that support African diasporic artists and art to honor the people who invented this dance. And the best way to learn how to dance is to dance. The problem with YouTube and Windows. Ah, got me.